guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install centos 7 on vagrant a lot of people have been asking for this so that's why i'm creating a video on it so how can we install centos 7 on vagrant so simple and if you are good the first thing i have to say is first just go to vagrant cloud just search for it then just search for centos 7 However, I would advise you use um, the my preferred option is CentOS 7 from Gerlink guy. There's a guy called Gerlink guy. Just search for it. All right, from this guy, here, just copy copy the ID just like that. Now, just go into your Vagrant file, then Vagrant init space paste, and there you have it. You get your Vagrant file, and you can continue working from there. Let me show you an example of one. I think if I have not deleted it, I think this is it. All right, let's open the file with brackets so this is what you are going to get you are going to get this particular file and um, I think the default the default RAM will be 512 all of this will be commented out and I think it's going to have just one CPU I've modified this one that's why you are seeing two and um, one gigabyte of memory here. but on a normal after the, during the first initialization the IP address, both the private and public IP, will be disabled, commented out. So you can come into the file and then uncomment it. That's what you need to know. I believe for you to be able to like um, look for CentOS 7 or Vagrant file, you know, you have some idea of um, Vagrant. And if you don't, oh Lord, I have a lot of videos on this channel that explains um, how to set Vagrant up. You can as well just follow one of those and um, believe you are going to be up and running with no time all right that's it when you are done you are going to get sent to a server and sent to a server is rpm based um, linux so it is the type where you use um, yum install and it uses httpd web server set of apache 2 in debian based um, linux so it is so simple to use and um, in fact that's my favorite rpm rpm based sent to a server specifically it's my favorite that's why i'm aware of this guy <laughs> so you can use any centuries 7 guys but i think this guy is very credible and if you notice he has a lot of installs he has a lot and he regularly updates it unlike some that like take longer to update but like um this guy here regularly updated see this one years ago this one like eight months ago so i this one is um 15 fine so it has one minute installation i think this one is fine but this is the one i usually work with and it's very okay getting guy he has a lot of um lot of um opening distros or oh, sorry lot of images here and on other devops and environment as well he's a good guy so with that i would say we have come to the end of this video and um, you can just go ahead and then um, background in it Galen guys sent to us seven and um, you'll be good to go thank you guys i'll see you in the next video bye for now